Hey guys, so I'm starting with this really cute tumbler. It is like, I just love the cap on it and I love the brand Hydroflow. I've used a lot of their cups before. So I prepped it, I didn't need to paint it because um, we will paint it in a little bit, but I was really inspired by a candle I had that had a hammered gold lid and I thought maybe I can get that same texture in my epoxy. So I did use the Artistry Facet and I waited, I'm not even sure how long I waited. I waited a while and came and just hit it with the hammer to give it the kind of dented effect. And I did have to wait a little longer. It kind of was soft and kind of melted back in, but you'll get the right timing and you just keep hitting it over and over and over. It was kind of exhausting, uh, but I think it's worth it because this turns out really cool. So I ended up taking it off the turner and just hitting it over and over and over, all over the best that I could, just making those little dents over the whole cup. So then the point is to have it set like that. So then once it was dry, I painted it the hammered metal. Um, I was looking for a copper color too, but I couldn't find it. So then it has that texture inside. So then you're gonna coat it with more epoxy so the outside is smooth, but the underneath, like you see that hammered texture. So then just doing a coat of regular artistry epoxy. So then I thought it would be cute to cut out some vinyl that says stay golden just cause it's gold. Um, I couldn't really think of any other saying to put on there. to the middle then I added another two layers of the artistry art epoxy that this cup was done it was pretty simple but I just really love the hammered texture in there and I feel like there's so much more we can do with this kind of technique thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one bye